Tops Project 2020, Pop Art Meets Baseball, presented by eBay. Tops Project 2020 is a one-of-a-kind trading card event that has combined contemporary art and baseball cards. Throughout the year, 20 artists will reimagine 20 iconic baseball rookie cards for a complete set of 400 cards released over the course of 2020. Each artist brings a unique flavor to the mix. Ben Baller added bling to the Ichiro 2001 and Ripken 1982. King Saladin infused contemporary street art into the 1992 Derek Jeter card. Fuchi is going faceless. JK5 has Mike Trout shooting lasers out of his eyes, in case you had any doubt that the Angels outfielder wasn't Superman. To market the project, the trading card manufacturer lined up year-long promotional events and ballpark exclusives to coincide with the Major League Baseball season. Then the pandemic struck, and the company was forced to ease into a virtual-only rollout of Topps Project 2020. The stunted publicity tour was a curveball. But all other metrics point to Topps Project 2020 being the company's breakout MVP during a season in which no baseball to date is being played. Even the MVP metaphor falls short of capturing how enthusiastic the company, card collectors, and newcomers to the sports hobby are about Topps Project 2020. How does Topps Project 2020 work? Topps is using a print-on-demand release model. Each weekday, two cards are released exclusively through Topps.com for a 48-hour window. The final print run is based on how many people purchase cards in that short amount of time. Hence why we've seen dramatically different print runs, from Tyson Beck's Dwight Gooden at 1,065 to Keith Shore's Ken Griffey Jr. at 99,177. One card in the print run will randomly be a one-of-one one gold frame card. Consider this your Willy Wonka golden ticket. Current listings on eBay include Matt Taylor's Frank Thomas, starting at $4,500, and Keith Shore's Don Mattingly at $8,000. Topps is also selling silver framed artist proof cards, numbered to 20. They retail for $299. These sell out almost immediately and command extremely high resale value. Topps Project 2020 Best Sellers. The three largest print runs are Keith Shore's Ken Griffey Jr., Blake Jameson's Mike Trout, and Joshua Vide's Nolan Ryan. The three lowest prints are Tyson Beck's Dwight Gooden, Joshua Vide's Dwight Gooden, and Old Manaland's Mariano Rivera. As the project gained more attention, the prices on the secondary market exploded. The earlier cards with lower print runs saw huge increases in resale value. Topps Project 2020 had a major burst in secondary market interest in March, April, and peaked in May. Courtesy of eBay, here are some key numbers to illustrate how hot these cards are. Searches for Topps Project 2020 jumped over 600% from April to May 2020. As of May 28th, there were 71,917 Topps Project 2020 listings sold. Sales for Topps Project 2020 increased 510% from April to May 2020. The beauty of the product is the various ways to collect. You can collect all 20 players from one artist. You can collect all 20 artist cards of a single player. Or you can mix and match based on the artwork or players you fancy. You can even seek the autographs or special extras from the artist's own secondary market through their websites or social media. Blake Jameson in particular has been active in promoting the project through live streams. But if you want to own the complete set but came in late to the game, prepare to take out a small business loan. With the year only halfway over, Topps Project 2020 may continue to evolve in unexpected ways.